Hey everybody, Brandon here from Create Commander. Thanks so much for tuning back in. I know it's been a while, but today I'm going to do a small, quick deck tech on a Jan Janssen deck that I played on the Command Tower stream a few weeks ago. Let's get into it. The Jan Janssen Chaos Crafter is red, white, black. Legendary creature, gnome artificer, 3-3, has haste. Tap, sacrifice, an artifact creature. Create two treasures. Tap, sacrifice, a non-creature artifact. Create two 1-1 one, one colorless construct artifact creature tokens. So, what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to throw a bunch of good black stuff in and uh, use the Osgear Precon from Strixhaven as my base. So, some of the things that I'm going to add because we're splashing black are going to be things like Disciple of the Vault, Mayhem Devil, Mishra Tamer of Makfawa, Thales Revenant Medium, and so on. Pitiless Plunderer is going to be one of our combo pieces here, and Ingenious Artillerist is going to be one of the things that, much like Disciple of the Vault, it's going to do a lot of damage just for doing whatever we want to do anyway. As I mentioned, I was going to be throwing in some other cards like Removal and Card Draw that Black does really well, stuff like Pam and Vindicate. Village Rights is going to draw us two cards essentially for one of the tokens that we already are going to get rid of same for deadly dispute infernal grasp and another favorite card of mine from the last year is the card draw spell blood pact ironically one of the bigger card draw impact cards in this particular deck is going to be the new card from brothers war called symmetry matrix it says whenever a creature with power equal to its toughness enters the battlefield under your control you can pay one if you do draw a card well if we combine that with Jan Janssen's ability to tap him, sacrifice a non-creature artifact such as a treasure or something, and create two 1-1 one, one colorless construct tokens, well, that's two of the same power and toughness entering at the same time. Some of the combo pieces that we are going to use to finish this game are centered around Jan Janssen himself. Uh, things like liquid metal coating and liquid metal torque are ways to turn Jan into an artifact and then obviously give Clock of Omens or Pitiless Plunderer, Sword of the Peruns, or any other type of those ways to untap, retap, and just go to town over and over and over again. Obviously, we'll also have Staff of Domination in this deck, so once we create infinite treasures, we can draw out our deck, we can get to the card we need, or we can use that Pay 3 and Untap Target Creature ability to untap Yon just to get extra value. And the bigger finisher in this deck, the one that can probably really win games and set everybody back and kind of just really turn things into your favor is Ruinous Ultimatum. That's a card that I've been looking to splash into a deck for a while, uh, ever since it came out in Ikoria, and it finally found a home here. Now, my version of the deck I actually used was just under $300, but you can actually easily really cut that down some, getting rid of an alternate win con like maybe Hellkite Tyrant. And removing some of the higher end items in this deck like Anointed Procession and some of the more expensive lands like Vault of Champions, Godless Shrine, etc. So that's going to do it for the Jan Janssen deck tech. Thanks so much for tuning back in. I know it's been a while since I did a deck, but I do appreciate it. It's going to be down in the deck list below. You can check it out on Moxfield and uh, kind of play test it, see how you feel about it. Uh, what would you add to this particular deck? I, I would really like to know. This is one I'm actually planning on keeping. As I mentioned, I've already played it on a stream, so I kind of want to keep it around and see what I can turn it into. But thanks so much again for tuning in. I do appreciate your time. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, share this with your friends and have a great day.